Hey everybody, my name is Jeff, and my name is Paul, and we're the Lavender Boys. This is our first ever attempt at making a video for our YouTube channel, and so bear with us as we um, learn embark. how to do this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> neither one of us are super comfortable being behind the camera, so... In front of the camera. Well, <laughs> anyway, um, but... We thought it would be a really good idea to um, put ourselves out there, talk about what we do on the farm. Um, uh, those things include lavender and chickens and horses and babies and family and all of the things that make life exciting here at Willapa Valley Lavender Farm. Definitely very exciting here at the farm. So a lot of people ask us how we got started here at the farm. Um, about, what, it was 2016, um, my nephew and I flew up to Washington to help my dad move from um, the coast to this beautiful property that we have. The west coast. <laughs> and when we arrived, um, there was all this land. And my sister and I have always wanted to have a family business together. We didn't know what it was, we had no clue. So I instantly called her and told her, where dad was moving and about a week later she called me back and she's like how would you like to be a lavender farmer and i was like great how do we do that so for about a year after that her and i um traveled around went to different lavender farms researched a bunch about lavender and within like i said within a year of making that decision we were up here at the property um, and had our first 5,000 plants in the ground. So the people that are involved with Willow Valley Lavender Farm are myself, my sister, Kim, her husband, Luke, and then their two kids, Ben and Macy. Um, and then a year and a half later, I found this amazing gentleman and he joined the farm team. So Jeff and I met in the summer of 2000, what's 18? Yes. 2018. Um, I had been single for quite a while. He had been single for a little while. And we were both on one of those matchmaking apps. We just happened to cross paths because he was on a birthday trip with a friend and I wasn't too far um I was kind of on the outskirts of his, uh, uh, what do you Search call it? Search radius. Search radius on his app. And basically I saw his picture and that he worked on a lavender farm and swipe right. I think that's right. Right or left. <laughs> and, um, and he must've read my profile and thought the same. So we ended up matching and we started talking right away. The conversation was super easy and fast and we just clicked immediately when he told me he had horses then that was really what sealed the deal for me <laughs> um a couple weeks later after talking pretty much on and off all day every day for a couple of weeks we met in person um and it just went from there we really connected we have a lot of the similar values um and i think what's really cool about our connection is that both of our past experiences have sort of come together and aided us in working together here on the lavender farm. I worked yeah. in horticulture. I ran an internship program when I lived in Brooklyn and taught people who were interested in plants all about plant propagation and plant identification um, and irrigation and all kinds of things that are plant related. Um, and so I owned a couple of businesses, so I knew how to get that side of the business continuing and running. And so it just was a perfect mesh. Yeah, so we were both kind of able to bring our experiences and talents together and make La the Willapa Valley Lavender Farm what it is today, which is um, a, we're based in Raymond, Washington, 
Um, on the beautiful coast of Washington. We're probably about, I think we are 10 miles as the bird flies from the ocean, but we're about a 45 minute drive to get to the water because we're out in the valley and you have to drive around the hills to get out there. Yeah, so if you ever uh, take the scenic tour up or down the 101, you will drive right through Raymond, which is a, a little tiny blink of an eye town, but you'll know it by all of the metal sculptures that are sprinkled along the highway. And we are just outside of there. So if you happen to be driving through, you should stop by and say hello. Now you're probably wondering where the Avery's come into play because we haven't talked about them. We just talked about Paul and I running the farm. Um, the Avery's are based out of Flagstaff, Arizona. So they do come up here, they move up to Washington for the summer, and they're here during the nitty gritty part of lavender farming. So mowing, pulling weeds, harvesting, propagating, planting, making oils, making product, going to markets. So when we need them, they come up here and then the other rest of the year, they're down in uh, beautiful Flagstaff, Arizona farm is not only home to about 7,000 lavender plants, we also have a large family. Um, on the property we have four dogs of all different shapes and sizes. I'm shocked that you cannot hear them right now because they are very active and barky, barky and nails on the hardwood floors. But we have two large parrots. We have 11 chickens that are just over a year old and laying tons and tons of eggs right now, which is very fun for us. Um, we have three horses out in the pasture. Two Those cats. My pet project, two cats, and um, two guinea pigs that normally <laughs> live in my first grade classroom at the local elementary school, but because of COVID-19, are now joining us here as part of our big furry herd family. And so um, we are very busy from the minute we get out of bed in the morning until the minute we literally drop back into bed at the end of the day. True story. Yeah. <laughs> so on this YouTube channel, um, we don't want to filter anything or dress up and do our hair and makeup every time and make it seem all luxurious and fabulous. We're just going to show you real life and what goes on and how it all works. Um, we're also going to share with you how we propagate for people that are wanting to know how to do that, how you make essential oil, how you um, harvest the flowers, how you trim the plant at the end of the season. Just a little helpful videos along the way um, about different topics because I know when um, Kim and I were doing research, it was very hard to find those sort of things out there um, for a quick reference for the at-home gardeners. Um, so that's kind of what we want to do with that. Um, we'll show you our daily life. Um, what else are we going to share on here? Well, I think what kind of inspired it was we get a lot of questions from people in our local community about, first of all, the number one top question we get is, how do I prune my lavender plant at home? <laughs> um, so because of just talking with people in our community, we've made a, a couple of just like short videos that we posted on our Instagram and they've been so well received that we decided, you know what, let's just go ahead and um, put together something a little more formal um, that can be produced and publicized on a regular basis. And um, also, we've earned the reputation in town of being Lavender Boys, so... That's why we got um, the name for the channel. Yes. Thanks, Roz. Thank you, Roz, from 7th Street <laughs> Coffee. Um, and so we've decided that this is going to be about us and our life as two gay men working on a lavender farm with a plethora of all kinds of things going on. So it's it's very much about lavender, but also about our life in general. We hope to, no, we are going to post probably once a week. We haven't picked the day yet. We don't know the lengths of the videos. Um, so bear with us on our journey on a YouTube channel. And it will get more exciting and yeah. more fun. <laughs> As we get more comfortable behind, in front, behind, whatever. <laughs>
next to the camera. <laughs> All right, guys. All Thank right. you. Signing off for now. Love you. Like us. Comment below. Oh yeah, the give us all of YouTube your feedback and reviews. Like um, here, ding dong, or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right.